Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be doing number 20 from the 6th grade Noetic competition of 2018. Now, for those of you who are unaware, Noetic is a competition that's run twice a year, and it's for each grade level from 1st grade to 8th grade. Right here, I'm looking at number 20 of the 6th grade Noetic test. and this kind of problem is a kind of problem that, by experience, I know how to solve almost instantly. However, since it's a number 20, it is deemed as the hardest problem on this noetic test. So that's why I'll be going over this problem today, to show you how this problem, even though this problem is one of the harder problems on the noetic test, with the proper mindset, you can solve this almost instantaneously. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Rectangle ABC is split into four rectangles with lines EF and GH. The perimeter of AEPG is 38 inches. The perimeter of EBHP is 34 inches. The perimeter of PHCF is 28 inches. And the perimeter of GPFD is 32 inches. What is the perimeter of a, B, C, D. So, in this question, it gives us the perimeters of each of these smaller rectangles. It gives us A, E, P, G's perimeter, E, B, H, P's perimeter, P, H, C, F's perimeter, and G, P, F, D's perimeter. And using each of these perimeter, it asks us to find the perimeter of the larger rectangle. Now. This problem, seemingly challenging at first, becomes trivial once we realize exactly half of the sides of each rectangle is shared with the outside perimeter. For example, two of the sides of AEPG is shared with the outside perimeter of ABCD. Same thing with two of the sides of EBHP. And the same can be said with the other rectangles. And these are not opposite sides. No, these are consecutive sides, meaning that the sum of these two sides is exactly half of the total perimeter. So here we have half of the total perimeter of rectangle AEPG makes up one part of the outer rectangle's perimeter. And we have the same thing with EBHP. Half of its perimeter makes up the outer part of rectangle ABCD's perimeter. And the same thing happens with the other two rectangles. PHCF and GPFD. So in order to find out the collective perimeter of the whole shape, we just need to find the perimeter of each of these shapes and then multiply them one half. So we can distribute that one half out and then we get our final computation to be one half times 34 plus 28 plus 32 plus 38 as these are the perimeters of each of these rectangles and we've already deduced that we only need to compute half the perimeter of each of these rectangles in order to make up the perimeter of the whole shape so if we compute this all out simplify the stuff inside the parentheses we'll get 70 plus 62, which we can simplify to 132. And then the question just asks us to find one half of 132. Now, 132 divided by 2 is 66. So we can see that that's our perimeter for ABCD. In this problem, this is a number 20 on a sixth grade noetic test. However, this problem's made trivial once you realize that you just need to find half of the perimeter of each of these rectangles, showing how with these seemingly impossible geometry problems, just by taking a different view and a different approach at the problem, we can make seemingly complex geometry problems much, much easier. 
And this is one example, but this kind of trend not only happens in lower level tests like Noetic and Math Kangaroo, but also in the higher tests like AMI and AMC 8s. So a good thing to try whenever you're faced with a geometry problem that seems quite intimidating at first glance is try to think about the different ways you could view it. In this case, by viewing each rectangle's contribution to the outer perimeter of the larger rectangle, we notice about the relationship between the perimeter of each rectangle and the perimeter of the outer rectangle. And by doing this, we are able to make this number 20 on a noetic test much, much easier.